Dividend strategies are one of the most crowded categories within the ETF market. Some funds screen for stocks based on consistency of dividends paid, while others focus on more narrow aspects like companies with the highest dividend payouts. Coming up on today's ETF battles, we've got an audience requested triple header between dividend ETFs from Global X, Schwab, and Vanguard. So which dividend strategy wins? Find out right after this. Welcome to ETF Battles. I'm Ron DeLegge. Good to see you again. Thank you for being here. Now, the ETF matchups that we do on this program, by way of reminder, come from you, the audience. So if you've got a certain ETF contest that you'd like to see, send us your ETF ticker symbols in the comment section below or on our Twitter feed, at ETF Guide. If we choose your battle, you win your choice of an ETF Battles coffee mug or a shirt. Be sure to visit the description section below with links to our program sponsor, Direction Investments. We've also got links to our program judges. Plus, join the waiting list for our new margin of safety investing tool. Today's ETF battle is an audience requested triple header between dividend ETFs from Global X, Schwab, and Vanguard. We've got SDIV versus SCHD versus VYM. And we actually combined today's contest into triple header with requests from two separate viewers, Daniel Buck and Richard Thorne. Thank you both for today's excellent battle matchup. Each of you are going to win your choice of an ETF Battles coffee mug or shirt. Uh, be sure to visit the description section below to claim your prize. So judging today's contest, we've got a formidable duo. We've got Dave Natick with Vetify and John Davey with Astoria Portfolio Advisors. Guys, welcome back to the program. Great to see both of you. Great to be here, guys. Thanks for having us. So our four battle categories are cost, exposure strategy, performance, and yield are combined. And then we got our mystery battle category where you can pick that single factor or multiple factors that you think are important to today's contest. Our judges can also nominate wildcard ETFs if they think there's a better choice elsewhere. We may get some of those on today's program. Just wait and see. And then um, at the end of the program, we're going to tally up the results and report the final results via our scorecard reading. Keep in mind, none of the battle outcomes are ever known in advance by myself or any of the judges, nor are they ever predetermined. So let's start this battle with uh, the first category, which is cost. Dave, please get us started. Yeah, so this one's pretty straightforward. So uh, SCHD and VYM both charge six basis points. I have no complaints about any fund that's charging six basis points. It's a great fee. Uh, SDIV, uh, 58 basis points. It's not even in the ballpark of acceptable expense ratios for a very straightforward strategy like this. I understand the folks uh, from Global X might disagree with me on that, uh, but it's so beyond the pale for core beta exposure, which a lot of people are using dividend strategies for, that 58 basis points just puts it out of contention. To me, it's a straight tie between SEHD and VYM. Thank you, Dave. That's a strong start. John, you're up next. How do you see it in terms of cost? I've got nothing to add. Dave nailed it on the head. So it's a split decision, both Vanguard and Schwab. All right. Got you down for split decision. That takes us next to our exposure strategy. So, John, you're up. Break it down for us. So, you know, dividends is interesting, right? Because, you know, some companies will just pay like a big dividend amount, but, you know, they may be lower quality. Maybe they have like a lot of debt on their balance sheet. Um, you know, so I think like really my advice for people, and this is what we do at Astoria Advisors, is like when you build a portfolio, you want safe, reliable dividends, companies that can grow their dividends. You know, we love high quality at Astoria. Um, you know, I generally think that SCHD kind of fits my kind of bucket list of like what I want in ETF for all the categories and especially for like exposure. Um, so I'm going to give it to SCHD in terms of like what it's trying to accomplish at the cost with the track record, with the size and scale of Schwab. Thank you, John. Dave, you're up next. How do you see it in terms of exposure strategy? Yeah, a little bit of nuance here. I mean, there are quite different strategies. SDIV tracks, tracks the super dividend index, which is almost literally just taking the highest yielding stocks available in the market globally. 
that means that you end up with a huge yield, but it also means you end up with a bit of a value trap. It's got a PE of somewhere around eight versus sort of a more market like 14, 15, which the other two funds do. So you really need to understand what you're buying here is dividends overall, regardless of how they got to be high yield. SCHD and VYM have somewhat similar approaches. SCHD is a little bit more of a fundamental screen. They not only have to have a 10-year dividend record to be in the fund, they also have to pass some profitability screens. You know, some fundamental screens I think most portfolio managers would recognize and nod their heads at. I think it makes for a nice, balanced, diversified portfolio, as John says. VYM from Vanguard reaches a little bit more broadly. It really just sort of looks at a universe of about a thousand stocks and grabs the 450 highest dividend payers out of that group. So it's a bit more of a broad bucket, a little bit broader exposure. Uh, but on the on on the point of like which one wins here, I'm kind of with John. I think SCHD probably has a methodology most people are going to be most comfortable with. Thank you, Dave. That takes us next to performance in yield. Oh. So, Dave, you're still up. Give us your analysis. Well, on yield, uh, Estiv wins by a, by a huge margin. Its current projected yield is 12%. Uh, it's been the highest yielding one of these three in pretty much any measurable time period. That's not surprising, given the methodology. Performance-wise, however, it's been a stinker. So trailing 12 months, it's down 22%. That's not great, but no matter how you measure it. Both of the other funds are up on a trailing 12-month basis. VYM is beating it a little bit by about 2%, through six, roughly 6% versus 4% for SCHD. Uh, so I, you know, on a raw numbers basis, I think I would, I would give this to VYM, uh, but I think it's a little bit of a split decision with SCHD over time. All right. So I got you a split decision with SCHD and VYM. Is that is that correct? Sure. That works. Okay. Perfect. I just want to make sure. I don't want to put any words in your mouth. That takes us next to John. John, how do you see it in terms of performance and yield? So I've, I've got uh, SCHD, I think on a one year, well, on a three, five and 10 year, they win. Um, VYM wins on a one year basis. Um, so I just think, you know, three out of the four kind of buckets I look at wins, but I want to explain kind of more about like the view, like, you know, the quality factor is one of these factors that's, you know, persistent, pervasive, robust, like it's easy to understand. Everyone gets it. You know, if you're growing your dividends, if you've got a safe, reliable dividend, generally speaking, you're doing well as a company, as like a, you know, management of, of that company. And I just feel like Estiv is just kind of binary. Like you, you're going to buy it just because it's a high yield, but you're kind of getting like a very low quality value trap, like Dave said. I just feel like with SCHD, you're you're getting like real good, solid companies and you're being rewarded because over time, like that high quality filter has had some meaningful uh, performance versus the Vanguard high div product. And it's very nuanced, like Dave said, but, you know, there's meaningful outperformance on a three, five, you know, even 10 year basis, like, you know, hundreds and hundreds of basis points. And I think all the work that I've read and done in my life just shows that like, you know, the quality factor is one of these factors you really want to lean on when building a portfolio because you get rewarded from that. So I really like uh, SCHD for all those reasons. All right. I got you down for SCHD. That takes us next to our mystery battle category. John, you're up. What is your mystery battle category and who wins it? So, you know, Todd Rosenbluth, who, you know, I think is one of the judges on the show, like he he kind of came up with this, you know, the flows category as like a mystic category. So I'm taking one from his book. And when you look at like Schwab, I mean, you know, year to date, they've gobbled in, you know, 9 billion, one year, 11 billion, you know, they've raised more assets on a year to date, one year, three year, five year than Vanguard, which is like really hard to do in the Vanguard where we live. But, you know, they're at six basis points. And it kind of just shows like the ecosystem that Schwab has as a custodial and they've got trillions of dollars, you know, at their custodian. So I'm impressed that they actually, in what's been a very difficult market environment, S&P down, you know, 15, NASDAQ down as much as 2025, 20, you know, that, and it just shows like this gravitation towards yield uh, and what's been like, you know, this kind of bear market recession, like risk in the marketplace. So I think, they win the, the flows category in terms of like the popularity and the ability to garner a lot of assets, any more assets than Vanguard. All right. I got you down for SCHD. Thank you, John. Up next is Dave. What is your mystery battle category and who wins it? 
Well, I think John already told me my mystery battle, battle category, which was quality. And I, I put that firmly in SCHD's camp. John's completely right. People don't go to a dividend strategy because they're looking for clip and coupons on high yield. You go to a dividend strategy because you're trying to build a quality portfolio. And as John said, paying a consistent or rising dividend is one of the best signals we have that a company is kind of sticking to their knitting and getting the job done. Uh, you put a, put the other screens on top of that so that you're sure you're not getting some sort of trap by getting a, you know, a look through to earnings, a look through to sales. I'm 100% here on SCHD for the quality mystery category. Let's give our judges one final opportunity to give us their overall battle winner. Dave, you're up. Uh, I got to give it to SCHD for all the reasons we've been saying here. VYM, I think a perfectly great fund, definitely an alternative to look at. But I think for the reason most people are looking at ETFs for a dividend strategy, they're going to end up wanting to be an SCHD. John, your final opportunity to weigh in. You know, I don't have too much more to add. I agree with a lot of what, uh, you know, Dave said. You know, I, I do think in fairness to like Vanguard and VYM, like I, I do think Vanguard – I'm fairly sure that they have other kind of higher quality dividends. So maybe in like another category we can, you know, maybe our viewer will suggest, you know, things like SCHD versus the Vanguard equivalent. But I think the message from us is like, go with like a dividend paying ETF that's got good quality, that's cheap. You know, you own solid fundamentals with a proven track record with the scale of like Schwab at, at a low cost. So I, I give the overall category to SCHD. Well, our judges have spoken, and according to the battle scorecard, today's outcome is a win for ticker symbol SCHD from Schwab, and our judges like that ETF uh, for many reasons. They cited the lower cost. They cited the exposure strategy with the emphasis on not just quality, but also rising dividends, and also look at the historical performance of SCHD versus the others in the, today's matchup. I mean, it's just impressive. Of course, we don't know what future results will be, but if you just look at the history, the numbers clearly favor SCHD. And uh, a great job by our judges breaking down today's dividend matchup. A couple of key takeaways. Dividend ETFs do the heavy lifting of building a portfolio of dividend payers versus concentrating your portfolio's risk on one dividend stock at a time. Also, dividends are a real crucial part of your total performance. And for proof, they've accounted for over 40% of the S&P 500's total return during the past 90 years. And finally, sustainability of dividends and increasing dividends is arguably more important than just high dividends alone. And I think today's ETF battles, at least one of my big takeaways from today's matchup was exactly that. Thank you, Dave and John, for your thoughtful analysis with today's Dividend ETF Rumble. Well done. Thanks. Thanks, guys. Visit the description section below for research links to our judges. And while you're there, check out the link to our program sponsor, Direction Investments. Which ETF battle would you like to see in our next episode? Post your ETF ticker symbols in our YouTube comment section below or on our Twitter feed at ETF Guide. If we choose your battle, you win your choice of an ETF battle shirt or a coffee mug. I'm Ron DeLegge. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.